Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. So I think this is going to be the last one for now in my mini series. So the mini series has been eight by eight inch canvases. And what I've been doing is I've been experimenting with the base color, which is the main color, and then using different tones of that color and maybe adding one or two different colors to help pop those colors. I've been using the Dutch pour method, one of my favorite methods, and actually that's something that you guys wanted to see more of me doing. So I hope you've enjoyed watching along and hopefully creating yourself a mini series, or maybe you've also gone larger. I'd love to see what you create. So if you've been creating along with me, tag me in your posts, I'd love to see what you're doing. So today is gonna be all about black. And I'm gonna use also some gold because I want to be able to focus on black, but as the negative space on the canvas. I always wear a black t-shirt. Well, nine times out of 10, I always wear a black t-shirt. So, you know, I kind of like black myself and I'm really excited to see what we can create using a black base with just maybe a different uh, number of color of those tones themselves. So maybe a gold and a gray, just to make the negative space really stand out. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite one is. And maybe if I haven't used a color that you'd like to see, drop me a message in the comments and maybe I'll continue with this series. But for now, thank you for joining me and let's see what we can create. Okay, so I've painted my sides and the black paint that I'm using is Mars Black and that's by De La Rowney um, System 3 Acrylic. And then I'm using, so there's the, there's the base color and that's just mixed with water. Then there's a space gray that um, I had left over from my gray one and that's uh, by Arteza. And then I thought I might use some silver and some gold. So iridescent gold and silver by Pebio. And then I've got a little bit of titanium white just in case I want to add that. But the idea with this one is basically to emphasize the negative space. So the black background. So I'm gonna use some of these colors here on this canvas. And it's really about the negative space that I'm gonna create. So using those colors to help this piece pop but at the same time, ensuring that there's enough negative space to really emphasize the black. I've, got, I've painted my edges. I'm just gonna layer the base coat on, so the black, and I'm just gonna spread this out using my palette knife. Okay, okay, I digress. So, I just wanna make sure that I don't have any of those air bubbles. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And this really is about the black. So I want to make sure that I keep negative space. So I'm gonna be very careful as I layer my paints on the canvas. So let's go, let's just use this space gray up. So I'm gonna just do a puddle here. Don't know if you can see that. You can see my reflection. For you. Okay, so I've put space gray on the bottom. I'm going to add at this point a little bit of gold, iridescent gold. That might create some cells. I always find the iridescent, the metallic colors, the iridescent gold and silver create cells. Okay. Now I'm very conscious, I just want this to be about the negative space. So what I need to think about is when I blow this out, and I haven't finished layering my colors yet, but I think what I might do is, uh, I've been blowing it all down, but what I might do is just blow up and then fan out. So blow towards you rather than away from you. This has got a lot of the negative space, but what I'm, tr what I'm hoping for is I can maybe keep the corners mostly negative. That's the plan. Will it work? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put a little touch of white. Okay. 
three. Because actually that's quite a lot of white. Uh, oh, I don't know. This is about this is about black, so I don't want to make it too grey. But I'm literally just gonna add a couple of drops of the iridescent silver in. Okay. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna add any more. I'm literally gonna flood the canvas. Okay, so I said I'm going to blow down that way, so it's going to travel that way. So I've got to make sure I've got enough paint to blow over. I'm going to get rid of these air bubbles. You know, it occurred to me actually, I very rarely work with black canvas and it really helps that color pop so maybe i'll start working more with black canvases um because actually i think they're they're really pretty i'm gonna blow over that way first and then stop Still hear that ice cream van so normally I would have blown over this way and then fanned out but because I've blown over that way I've managed to get that that deep negative space just here so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna blow in that direction and then blow in that direction and then have a look Some of those sounds. I love how I've kept this section here with the lines. I love this bit here. It looks like a whale's tail. And that space grey has really helped. Oh, I really love this. Oh, this might be my favourite one. Okay, I'm just going to torch just to see if I can produce any more sounds. I won't fiddle, I won't fiddle. Yeah, I think this is my favourite. I'm going to take you in for a closer look. Okay, here we go. What do you think, guys? So the whole point of this was to have a lot of negative space in for the black area. So I've achieved that here. But also you can see how the space grey has helped. Okay, let me take you in. Look at that colour. I love the textures that it's created. I love the cells. Just like roots. Can you see the can you see the lines here? It's like roots or like a root from a tree. Love that bit just there. I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna let this dry and then hopefully if it dries well I'll take you in for a dried version look. Here we go. Dried version. And some of that uh, that space black in the lower section really really helps distinguish the I think the negative space that's one thing that I really wanted to keep with this black piece was the negativity the negative space on the actual piece I really love how this all works together I really love this section just here it's gorgeous okay so before I sign off 
I did promise a few of you that got in contact with me a final look of all of them together. So before I do that, I just want to say a big, big thank you for all of your support. I've loved reading all your comments about the colours that you've liked and some of the colours that you really didn't like. And it's always good to know what really kind of hits with you guys. So thank you so much. So now for the big reveal, I'll take you in so you can see all of them together. And here we are, all nine pieces together. So right from the beginning when I did the red one to the final black one that I've just shown you. I've loved every single one of these in their own right. And it's really important to me that I've done this mini series just to kind of demonstrate and illustrate all the different colours that can be used within this technique and other techniques as well. I've had so, so much fun. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it as well. I've loved reading all your comments. Thank you all so much for your support. Whether you just like the video or subscribe to my channel, that's really supportive and it's really invaluable to me to have that kind of support, so thank you. I know purple and violet was one of the favourite ones along with the pink and the grey, but I'd really love to know which one is your favourite, so please let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone and I hope to see you again soon. I'll leave you with some close-up versions now. Take care, see you soon, bye!